Right, we're now going to talk about how electrical energy can be transferred to other types of energy in an electrical circuit and what is meant by the word voltage. So, we start off with, for example, a battery. And a battery is a source of electrical energy. It actually starts off as chemical energy in the chemicals in this battery. But when we connect a wire from the battery to, for example, a bulb, and then back from the bulb to the battery, and we have a complete circuit, the bulb will light. And we're converting electrical energy into heat and light energy. So we have heat and light energy. Now we usually say that a battery has a voltage. We might say a battery has a voltage of 5 volts. What does that mean? To answer that question, I'm going to need to talk about um, this situation using an analogy. So this is like an imaginary situation which will help us to understand the physics. So imagine that we have some of these little characters called coulombs which are traveling from the battery to the bulb and that is the flow of current. These are coulombs and they flow by each second because we have a complete circuit. Okay, I'm only going to draw three of these chaps. They have backpacks and in their backpacks they've got some energy. Let's fill up the backpacks with some energy. And in fact, each of these coulombs, so that's one coulomb, one coulomb, one coulomb, each coulomb from this battery is equipped with five joules of energy. So this is five joules in that one, five joules in that one, and so on for all of them around the circuit who are moving through the wire and into the bulb. So that's what 5 volts means. That means that the battery gives each of these coulombs 5 joules of energy. And as there are no other components in this circuit, each of the coulombs will give up all of their energy to the bulb in the form of heat and light. So one coulomb that moves through will give out the 5 joules that it's carrying. And then that 5 joules will appear as heat and light. Now that's what's meant by voltage. It's also got a different name. We call it potential difference. Potential difference. And in this case the potential difference would be 5 volts because the potential energy carried by each coulomb as it goes in is 5 joules and as the coulomb comes out it's got rid of its energy. So the difference is 5 joules per coulomb. And that's what a volt is. So 1 volt is 1 joule carried by each coulomb. Just squeeze that in there. Let's have a look at this flashcard with that analogy in mind. So Potential difference is the work done or energy transferred or transformed. Let's say transferred for this one. Either is fine, by the way. By one coulomb of charge as it flows through a component. Another name for potential difference is voltage. They are the same thing. Voltage. So here we are. We have a wire. We have a current flowing through a lamp. And this one coulomb has just passed through the lamp. And the voltmeter, which we've attached across the bulb, it's measuring the potential energy, if you like, of each coulomb before and afterwards. And therefore, the potential difference, it's registering as 5 volts. That means that each coulomb that goes through must give out how many joules? Five joules. 
And that's the meaning of potential difference or voltage.